What's up guys, it's been a very long time since I made any sort of bypass video. If you guys remember, back in the day there used to be so many ways into iOS, but Apple quickly patched all of those. And just the other day, uh, something did surface that was very interesting, it caught my attention. A way to bypass a Siri restriction in order to enable a setting she usually would not let you do from the lock screen. But worse than that, a couple of other uh, little hacks you can use on the lock screen that Apple will probably patch in the near future. So anyways, let's get to it. It is bug season, let's check it out. So wanted to let you guys know I am on iOS 10.3.3, the latest beta, so this exists on the newest firmware, and there is a passcode. So I, uh, I have to use my finger with the iPhone 7, but this is a finger that is not registered. It will not work. In fact, I'll just block it out until Touch ID doesn't work anymore. Okay, so essentially when you ask Siri, Siri, turn cellular data off. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. And just like that, she will not let you do that. Now if I go ahead and ask her once again, Siri, cellular data. You'll need to unlock your doesn't iPhone work. First. So check this out. To reset Siri and try again and just say cellular data. Cellular data is on. Oh, not that part. Let me know if you want to Anyways. Before she would say, no, you can't turn cellular data off, but now you can using this little workaround by just asking her for cellular data. And just like that, uh, you can turn it off. And if you have no Wi-Fi enabled, Siri will eventually stop working because there will be no cellular data. Now, why is this a big deal? It's pretty much a deniability of service. Uh, you can get into somebody's phone and just do that. But can't you disable airplane mode from here? I mean, yes, unless they disabled control center on the lock screen. So just a little workaround. You can also pop the SIM card out, so it's not that big of a deal, but it is a bug. It is a bypass, something that Apple will be fixing in the future. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now, what else is there? There's actually something very interesting that I can't believe Apple still left in iOS working today. You can ask Siri to read your messages. Siri, read me my messages while it's locked. And she will proceed to read you all of your new messages from the lock screen. 25th, 2017, digital touch message. Would you like to reply? No, next message. On April 25th, 2017, Nathan Baron7 at gmail.com sent you 12 messages. So nice. Is, I need to you once. I know you have many other works. Yeah, I get a lot of those. Anyways, she will read you all of your messages uh, from your from your inbox on your messages application. That should not be allowed. Of course, you can disable Siri on the lock screen, which is a solution for something like this, but that does exist. You can still do stuff like Siri, post to Facebook. Uh, something embarrassing on my friend's Facebook wall. Here's your new Facebook so you can literally post to anybody's Facebook just from here. And I'm going to cancel okay. that. You can't do Twitter possible. anymore. Apple patched that one. You can actually ask, show me recent calls. Here's your most recent call. So she will show you the recent see call. See uh, not all of them. Before in the past, it used to be 25, so you'll get to one here. You can still make calls and text to any number. Send a message to Apple. Did you mean Apple Incorporated? Yeah, so you can what call you to to or text anyone from your uh, contacts list still in there. So that one still exists. You know, this kind of stuff should not still be around, but it is enabled if you have Siri enabled by default, which most people have. So be careful, people can still access your messages, even your most recent phone call and you know, cause havoc, post to your Facebook wall, send messages to people if they get access to your phone. And just another one I thought I'd throw in here. So this one has been around for a while, even on the latest beta, but you guys can actually click on these over here and hold and they will give you this option right here. So I haven't been able to actually do anything with them. Now, if you unlock your phone and you use these little things and then lock your phone, and then click on it, it kind of almost pushes through, but then is held back at the last moment. Uh, as you can see Safari through the lock screen while your device is still locked. I found a couple uh, other interesting ones, just hold on them, you'll get two pop-ups. 
and I wasn't really able to get anything from here, but um, play around with it, see if you guys can figure anything out. We haven't seen a full bypass through into iOS in forever, but you know, you never know, something may happen, one may show up once in a while, but hope you guys enjoy this, just thought I'd share this little bypass with you guys, wanted to add it to the playlist, haven't had one of those in a very long time, but quite an interesting little bug. All right guys, peace.